All right, so um, I don't know. I haven't been making videos for a while because of you know all the schoolwork and shit. But uh, I'm back, and uh, this video is a little different. This is not a boombox. It's a radio. This is so I don't know. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but I'm also into shortwave radios, and I do have quite some of those, especially the '90s and the late '80s the digital radios. I really like them. It's fancy. It's got a whole lot of buttons and. You know, hey, listening to shortwave is actually kind of fun, uh, especially when I was in Taiwan. There's a lot of shortwave stations I could pick up. I picked up NHK from Japan, some Chinese stations, some stations from Southeast Asia. I even got North Korean stations, by the way. It's it's really awesome. And um, my primary radio used to be the Sanji and ATS 909X, which I got off of a sale at uh, you know from someone I know in Guangwa Electronics Market. Uh, and then it became the Grundig 500 I got uh, in a secondhand store for 50 bucks, And this is what I got on eBay for $60. This is f from a local Facebook sale for 30 bucks. So this is by far the cheapest and the most uh, valuable radio I have. The Satellite 700. This is a classic, by the way. Um... Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm doing a little update on this. So, I don't know if you were able to see the, the this little transformer can right here. Yeah, I bought the wrong size. I fucking hate this. Uh, I fucking hate, you know, when sellers on eBay don't, like, specify how big their transformers are. This is a one... This is a 10 millimeter one. I need a 7 millimeter one. And they got me the uh, 10 millimeter one, which is fucked. I fucking hate them. Anyways, uh, it works, but it's kind of ugly and... Probably going to have issues trying to fit this back in because this is where the battery would sit. Anyways, I'll give it a shot. I don't know. And uh, although it's working, so it should hopefully, hopefully be fine. And uh, just a little update because when I got this radio, it so said everything worked. Uh, no, no. The shortwave, the AM works just fine, but the FM does not have any sound. Uh, it's completely dead, completely silent. Uh, it doesn't even get the nearest local stations, including my uh, secret transmitter, the stuff from that, and nothing. So I figure it's probably either a filter or it's in preamp, some, it's some sort of a preamp issue because it's the same amplifier going to the speaker. And if you're getting sound from AM and uh, shortwave, which is also AM, you would be able to, the, the amplifier is not dead. Uh, so it's obviously it's got to be some sort of a filter issue or capacitor issue and all these capacitor looks pretty new because this thing is pretty mid so i figure it's probably the if filter it is actually a known problem for these uh grundig radios if you look online if you search uh dead fm no sound grundig satellite 700 the first thing pops up the first solution that would pop up would be hey replace the if filter i did uh it took me a week for it to come because it's christmas right now but uh when i'm recording this by the way it's christmas but so it took about, about a week for this thing to arrive and it came in the wrong size which is fucked but hey who cares man it works it's fine i don't give a shit it, as long as it's playing it it's doing what it's supposed to do we're all good we're all cool uh I don't know. That's that's that. Well, I'm going to run a few more tests before I reassemble this thing just to make sure that I didn't make any connection issues and whatnot. And um, after reassembling this, I might or might not do a review because, like I said, this thing is complicated as fuck. This is the Grenix Satellite 700, one of the most complicated, most sophisticated portable ever made. Probably the most sophisticated one ever made. Uh, it is a alternative to the famous Sony SW77, uh, ICF SW77, which is also a really great radio that I would love to have, but every, I, first of all, I never find that here around in the U.S. and the States. Second of all, even if I do, it's on eBay and it's expensive as fuck. It's like 400 bucks. They're asking for 400 bucks for that thing and it's like half dead. So I'm not going to pay that kind of money. If it's a radio of this caliber half dead, I could accept $80 with anything more than that because you know this is always a gamble you never know if you're gonna fix it or not say it's an IF filter issue it's easy it's an easy fix what if it's this LA1205 chip that died I don't know can I find it on eBay probably I think I can but what if it's another one that you can never find on eBay here in the states right so it's kind of a gamble if that happens you're gonna spend another like $80 just to buy another unit so to uh for you know, swapping out the parts, so, 
yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to plug this back in, do another quick test just to see how good the, or how good it is working right now. I'm pretty sure it's fine, but yeah, at the same time, you just want to make sure that it does do FM properly and, uh, you know, and all that because you never know. And uh, just one last thing. This is a really good radio. It's really sensitive, but it's old, so it's probably still not going to be my primary considering that the FM just died and I fixed it. I ordered a Texan PL990 on eBay for $100. Basically brand new, so I'm waiting on that. And uh, just a little update. I might, I might not do a review on that. It, I'm, I'm more likely will. But uh, you know, just a little quick, quick hex up. So this is a little update in the uh, Grundig uh, satellite 700. This is one of the successful repairs. I do have unsuccessful repairs, but. So far, not on any of these radios because, you know, these radios are pretty durable, especially if you're, you know, looking for the better ones like these ADS-818, especially this one. And there is a blown speaker in this, so I just replaced it with a Sony. It sounds pretty good. Uh, that one is completely fine. That one, it's brand new, so we're not talking about anything. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do reviews about all these, just saying. So, uh, let me do some more tests and uh, I'm gonna do a little quick band scan whatsoever. Let's see what happens. Anyway, so I was trying to, to band scan and it seems to work just fine. By the way, I'm getting rig rolled. Uh, this is a rig Astley rig mix of some sort. Uh, the only issue it's making that noise is because there's no antenna, and I'm basically using my body as an antenna, and it sucks because you know it's kind of a thing. It, but it, I'm pretty sure it's working. It's probably not going to be as sensitive as how it used to be back in the days when it's perfectly fine. But eh, I mean, as long as it works, it's. I'm usually listening to FM with the uh, home transmitter, you know, using it kind of like a Bluetooth speaker but with better range. Um, so yeah, there you have it.